SCP-003 Biological Motherboard Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-003 is to be maintained at a constant temperature of no less than 35 degrees centigrade and ideally kept above 100 degrees centigrade. No living multicellular organisms of category 4 or higher complexity may be allowed to come into contact with SCP-003. In event of total power failure, if SCP-003-1 begins to increase its mass, assigned personnel must engage in skin contact with SCP-003-1. Ideally, personnel may use their body heat to return SCP-003-1 to above the critical temperature. However, skin contact must be maintained even in event of SCP-003 reaching activation temperature, lasting in minimum until SCP-0031 advances fully to its second growth stage. Personnel who enter SCP-003's containment area must be first be examined for body parasites of category 4 or higher complexity and sterilized if such organisms are present. All personnel who have come in physical contact with SCP-0031 are to immediately report for sterilization afterwards. SCP-0031 must be removed from SCP-0032 except in case of emergency procedures detailed above. Any significant change to SCP-0032's rune activity, including pattern, frequency, or color, should be reported within three hours of occurrence. Secession of rune activity must be reported immediately. SCP-0032 must be supplied with power through the source designated generator 0039 at all times. Description SCP-003 consists of two related components of separate origin, referred to as SCP-0031 and 0032. SCP-0031 appears to be composed of chitin, chitin air nails of unknown biologically similar to SCP-00 and SCP arranged in a configuration similar to that of a computer motherboard. Testing reveals SCP-0031 to predate earliest known circuit boards by a factor of thousands of years. SCP-0031 is considered sentient but only actively dangerous except under certain conditions. SCP-0031 was found on a stone tablet. SCP-0032, on which it currently resides, the runes on SCP-0032 are not part of any known language and emit pale, flickering light patterns. SCP-0032 is controlled by a non-biological internal computer, the contents of which are mostly inaccessible without risk of damage. SCP-0032 Damaging SCP-0032 SCP-0032 is capable of controlled emissions of radiation, including heat, light, and anomalous radiation types. SCP-0032 contains an internal power source of an anomalous nature, which appears to have been losing power since several centuries before discovery. It is considered probable that SCP-0032 was created for the purpose of containing SCP-0031. Partially interpreted data recovered from SCP-0032 may refer to a past and or a potential future LK class restruct restructuring event caused by SCP-0031. SCP-0031 was located by remote viewing team SRV-04 Beta. It appears possible that SRV-04 Beta was deliberately con contacted by SCP-0032. Other organizations have also been alerted to SCP-003's existence. Possible by similar means, despite this activity, SCP-0032 does not appear to be sentient. Based on its lack of reaction to MO3 Gloria analysis and procedures. When SCP-003 drops below the temperature of 35 degrees centigrade, both components react. First, SCP-0031 enters a growth state characterized by an ex 
exponential increase in mass. This growth state consists of two stages. In both stages, SCP-0031 partially fuels its growth by converting matter around it, starting with any surrounding inorganic material, including atmospheric elements, then non-living organic material, including cells of dead skin, hair, chitin, and animal, keratin, and other biological materials. The first stage is always the same. SCP-0031 will first increase its mass and take a form similar in shape to an ophiroid brittle star of 15, of 15 meters in diameter, including what appears to be a central environment, no, central processor of 3 meters in diameter. It will form sensory organs that appear to scan its surrounding environment and will partially convert the idea around it to an unidentified anomalous substance. SCP-0032 seems immune from conversion. The second stage describes a growth alteration which occurs with when SCP-003 comes into contact with living organic material. SCP-003 appears to template itself off the organic material and will attempt communication with organisms that match its initial template or templates. In its second stage, SCP-0031 may pause, slow or change its growth, and will also convert inorganic and non-living organic elements into functionally similar structures with anonymously altering their physical makeup. While growth inconsistent in the first stage, in the second stage SCP-0031's growth rate is diminished by 20 to 90 percent. So long as SCP-0031 remains in contact with living organic material, the percentage is determined by the complexity of the organisms in contact with SCP-0031. SCP-0031 appears to devote a large amount of processing power to, analys to analysis of living organic material. During each of SCP-0031's growth stages, SCP-0032 releases bursts of radiation that temporarily inhabit SCP-003's growth, or reverse this growth when the temperature of SCP-0031 rises above 100 degrees centigrade. Similar radiation emissions have been replicated or recorded through other anomalous means. Addendium 0031 Acting on information gathered from a linguistics analysis of SCP-0032's rooms and comparative data analysis, research team MO3 Gloria has managed to establish a link between SCP-003 and for analysis of functions, SCP-003 must now be considered sentient and is to be kept a minimum of one kilometer from and the resulting byproduct of all times. Addendium 00302. SCP-0032's power loss has been excavated by the procedures performed by MO3 Gloria on orders of 0510. MO3 Gloria will continue procedures. Addendium 00303. During MO3 glory procedures, SCP-0031 doubled its mass and began rapid structural growth. Temperature was immediately returned to 100 degrees centigrade. Growth and mass increase of SCP-0031 continued for 9 minutes and 6 seconds, at which time a sustained radiation spike was produced by SCP-0032. In response, SCP-0031 returned to its normal state in 3 minutes and 39 seconds. New growth dissolved into a, into a dusty residue which was collected for analysis. Both SCP-0031 external power source, SCP-003's runes glowed in uniformly gray and did not resume normal activity for three hours. SCP-0032 no longer appears to be able to maintain containment area at a temperature above 35 degrees centigrade without external power supply by generator 0033 through 9. Addendium 0034. The procedure detailed in Addendium 0303 was repeated and SCP-0031 again entered the growth state. After 10 minutes and 13 seconds, SCP-0032 once again produced a sustained radiation spike. SCP-0031's growth stopped with 46 seconds, then resumed at its previous pace. 
on quadrupling its mass, SCP-0031 formed a coherent outer shell and body, after appearing to scan its environment and partially converting its environment. SCP-0031 then breached containment, entering the observation gallery, where nine members of MO3 Gloria were present. On physical contact with team members, SCP-0031 were comp past them in rapidly grown appendages and stopped growth for 15 minutes. SCP-0031 then resumed growth and rearranged the component parts of the center of its form to the shape of three meter tall female humanoid with peripheral tentacles, shifting to extrude primarily from SCP-0031's newly formed hair and spine. SCP-0031 then produced rudimentary vocalizations in a, in a parent's initial attempt to communicate with researchers. An unknown individual approached the compromised containment area in company of a full squad of agents. The individual claimed to be acting on orders of 0510 and attempted communication with SCP-0031. Following this incident, Agent Jackson of M03 no M03 Gloria successfully restored power to SCP-0032 and activated backup generators to return the temperature to 100, 100 degrees centigrade. SCP-0031 returned to its normal state in 21 minutes and 7 seconds and was successfully recontained without incidents. All nine members of M03 Gloria, affected by SCP-0031, were afterwards found to be physically unharmed, with no residual effects besides physiological trauma. The converted materials of SCP-003's former containment area did not dissolve and are now under analysis. Addendium 00305. In light of previous incidents, 00... no. Nope. 0510 was removed from the 05 Council by joint decision of 005, 005 and 05. M03 Gloria procedures have been indefinitely suspended.